So, uh, as I just showed you the email, it looks like Antifa is sort of planning on protesting you tomorrow night. Can you tell us kind of what is the A Night for Freedom and sort of what is your response to what Antifa said Yeah, A Night for Freedom, we held our first Night for Freedom in New York. It was a very good time. We had a great time inside the party. Outside the party, as a man was walking home, he was assaulted by Antifa. And the person who attacked him, sucker punched him and strangled him, is now facing multiple felony charges. So my message to Antifa would be, I encourage you to peacefully protest anything that I ever do. I encourage you to hold your signs and call your names. But if you do take violence, there I got three people arrested for the deplorable because they wanted to break the law. There is now a man, David Campbell, 30 years old in New York, facing very serious felony charges, and he is going to be sued and do the rest of his life is going to follow him around. So my advice would be, hey, I don't really care if you lie about what I say in order to be angry at me. Whatever, you got your right to not like me. I'm not here. I never claim to be Mr. Congeniality. That said, if you do break the law and you do act in violence, you will go to jail. Proof of that is the person who was violent in New York is facing multiple felony charges. So do you want to ruin your life? Don't be violent. Do you want to protest me? Great. I'll come say hi. I'll talk to you. I'll give you a, a hot cocoa if it's cold outside, and you can yell whatever you want to yell at me. I encourage that. I think it's a great thing. But if you get violent, uh, you're going to go to jail, maybe prison. Antifa's press release kind of claimed that you're anti-freedom in spite of using uh, that word, and they're calling their event a fight for freedom. Uh, yeah, what do you think of that word and that allegation? Yeah, I always say that they call us fascists, but if you come after, if you hold an event, I'm not going to go to your event with 50 people and hit somebody outside your event. Never would I do that. I don't get violent with people. Do I talk a lot of trash? Do I maybe make some jokes that I shouldn't have made? Eh, sure, whatever. You know, I own that. Yeah, I made some jokes in the past. And we should maybe be more responsible in what we joke about. I get that. But you've never seen me get violent with anyone. So if we're fascist, why is it that the violence is outside of the event with the Antifa people? The police are actually looking into that. So, again, they need to make sure that they don't do anything illegal. They will go to prison. Um, to the right-wing side, sometimes there are right-wingers who go to events like this kind of to fight back against Antifa. What would sort of be your message to people who might be uh, aligned with you and interested in participating in that sort of thing? Well, I have a code. I tell people when you come in, no funny business at all. All right. You're there to meet other people that you like. I have armed security. I have former special forces. I have former Israeli defense forces. If we have somebody acting the fool inside there, they'll be taken care of. We don't have to worry about that. So people in there, you don't need to get in a fight with anybody. You need to have a good time and focus on dealing with everybody else. We have so many people undercover that we don't need anybody else to try to be a cop for a day. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it.